hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel Jelani Day is a 25 year old ISU student who was last seen August 24th leaving a dispensary his car which was a Chrysler 300 was found two days later details surrounding Jelani's disappearance are limited there was a male body that was found near the Illinois River DNA test in hopes of identifying the body could take weeks. So we're going to look into this and see what happened to Jelani Day. I always say that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Let's get started. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, ancestors. Spirit, please protect over me during this reading. Please show me, Spirit, what happened to Jelani Day, Spirit. What happened to Jelani Day, Spirit? We got the whips here. So something, something brutal took place with the whips. Whips, you thinking about whipping, punishing somebody? What happened to Jelani Day, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. I say we have the key bear and ring key bear ring when we speak about the key this is about opening up new pathways bear represents power and strength ring we think about the ring like a promise ring so it speaks of like of commitment and some sort of agreement key and bear this combination is like to be unguarded against being influenced or or bossed around liberation from a dominant influence someone who help us understand to open up to someone of importance in the way that we let them know things about ourselves. So we let someone we feel is important know personal things about us. That we we let them partake in our lives more by opening up to them. It's a lack of boundaries in a relationship with that person. Someone dominant forced their way in and to bully someone into saying saying yes. Key and ring. This combination is to say yes to someone, uh, to make new connections, to commit to something full heartedly, to enter into a relationship, an association, or a contract, to welcome a new member into a network. Commitment to understanding. Something causes us to open up. To be released from a bond or a promise. Bear and ring. This combination is a commitment to, to teaching or leading. A relationship that's very strong. A, a powerful link or liaison. A connection that gives us power or influence. To... Bear and ring protecting a relationship or a connection to insist on a formal or legal commitment, like a contract, to to take someone by their word, to to hope someone holds true to their promise, to bully someone into promises something, and something has a very strong effect on us. When we speak of the bear and the ring combination. The energy of this spread. It indicates someone was intimidated, intimidated by someone they trust. This person in return took advantage of them. There was some form of commitment and someone didn't hold up to their word. Or their end of the commitment. Let's, let's pull some more cards. Thank you, Spirit. 
Spirit, please show me. What happened to Jelani Day, Spirit? What happened to Jelani Day, Spirit? What happened to Jelani Day? We got the fox. So someone is... <clears throat> my voice is cracking. Someone is being sneaky about something. Thank you, Spirit. What happened to Jelani Day? What happened to Jelani Day, Spirit? I say. We have the lady. Man. Coffin. Hmm. Lady, man, coffin. The lady, it speaks of... It refers to like behaviors of a woman. Man, of course, refers to behaviors of a man. And coughing, we think of, of coughing, um, it's about a loss. Lady and man. A woman and a man that is together, or they do things together, like a wife and a husband, or girlfriend and boyfriend these two have a very close relationship and you notice how they are not looking they're, they're not facing each other they're looking away from each other this is a, a sign that these two there is conflict between this lady and man they are drifting apart lady and coffin this combination is a woman that is a woman that has suffered a loss, a woman who hasn't let go of something, or a woman in the process of letting go of something. A woman who is suppressed and she's she's buried, she's buried something. Man in coffee. A man who has suffered a loss, who hasn't let go of something. A man, he is in a process of letting go of something. Uh, a man who is suppressing a lot of something. So the energy of this spread, it indicates a man and a woman, they done something together that involves a loss. I feel this man and this woman, they were in a relationship that was burdened. A new lover entered into their lives and there was conflict between wanting to go slowly and things happening very quickly. Let's clarify with the right away. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify with the right away. Spirit, thank you. Please show me what happened to Jelani Day, Spirit. What happened to Jelani Day, Spirit? It involves a woman. Something about a woman. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords in Reverse. Let's clarify. Spirit, clarify the Queen of Pentacles for me. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for me, Spirit. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for me, Spirit. There we go. King of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups for me, Spirit. A celebration. Clarify the Ace of Cups for me, Spirit. Lovers. Something about a relationship, guys. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Oh, 
We have the lovers, and now what we have, the two of cups. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the seven of swords for the Spirit. Clarify the seven of swords for the Spirit. Someone wants to be in control of the situation. in reverse so we have the queen of pentacles clarified by the king of cups ace of cups clarified by the two of cups seven of swords in reverse clarified by the two of pentacles we got some emotional things going on here we got three cup cards so this is an emotional situation thank you spirit queen of pentacles This woman, she she takes enjoyment in material pleasures. She's an organizer and she takes care of people around her. Clarified by the queen, by the king of cups. This queen of pentacles balances out this king of cups. This King of Cups is someone you can trust. He's a leader. He's seen as a mentor. and He's reliable. This man will offer you a sympathetic understanding and he will, le he will lend a compassionate ear to a friend. So this man is like important to someone. Ace of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. Anger, rage, hate, resentment. We see that the cup is spilled over, which denotes someone being emotionally drained. That they need to forgive someone. This person is engulfed in toxic emotions like guilt. They they really res they're really resentful against something and they have a lot of hate against something. They are so blocked by their emotions to the point they can't do anything. It's ruining them. They are so stressed out and they feel alone. Clarified by the Two of Cups. So someone that is resentful, They, they resent making a connection, some sort of connection here. They resent this partnership with someone. There's a close relationship with intimacy involved. And I feel like everyone understands each other. And they, they understand each other on a deep level. Someone is really digging someone more. And they feel more connected to that person. Seven of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. No, Seven of Swords in Reverse, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. I was right. Um, This is dwelling on past errors and missed opportunities. So someone is, they undecided about something. They are insecure about a situation and don't know how to, they don't know how to act or, or behave. They are very fearful and they try to please someone but end up just annoying that person. They want to be the center of attention and they don't know how to act when they are not the center of attention. They feel left out and desperately try to get someone's attention. They, they drain their partners empty this person someone is so busy trying to please someone else to the point they become overwhelmed they are unable to they are unable to juggle the demands of a situation they lose sight of the practical aspects of life 
Someone has also outgrown a situation and they want something new. There's an emotional instability that it is causing problems and chaos. Someone is just so selfish and they play a lot of games to further their own their own agenda, agenda their own interests. They are they are dealing with some deep seated worthiness issues. So the energy of this spread, it indicates there, there was a lack of something that was solid due to someone being fearful. Disputes occurred and someone felt restricted. Someone felt overwhelmed by the events that occurred. They had an emotional meltdown and a sudden change happened. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to hold off on this next question because uh, the tongue, the tongue is a very powerful vessel, very powerful vessel. So let's get a message. Let's let's bring something positive into this reading. Spirit, thank you. Could I please get a message in regards to this situation involving Jelani Day? Message spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Mm, interesting, interesting. A personal issue reaches resolution. This card speaks volumes. There will soon be answers in regards to the disappearance of Jelani Day. Yeah, there will be a resolution. Thank you, Spirit. I see love and light Jelani's family, friends, and loved ones way. And I pray he is safe and found. There's also a Go GoFundMe, and I'll I'll leave the link to that um, GoFundMe in the description box of this video. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below, guys. Be blessed. Thank you for watching, guys.